Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Atelier Riser. In between episodes I've been, to say, a very busy person. I know we were planning on getting the bait to our fishermen to increase their chance of uh, getting fish, but let's do something else first, because I've been busy, I've been gathering a lot of materials, leveled the character fuel uh, levels up, and made a lot of new stuff with the alchemy pot. And what I basically did is I used the synthesis to make uh, some new equipment. I made the Grim Quartz, the Virgin Snow and the Initiator for our three characters. And with it I used the weapon buff in order to increase the attack power by almost doubling it in this uh, forge. So we are ready for the next level of monsters, I'm pretty sure. I was always trying to look also for uh, any of the armor sets, but the only way we can increase that is if we found uh, a knight's emblem, which we haven't found yet. So that part is still good as it is, and I'm hoping that really soon when we get to a new area or whatever, we'll find a knight emblem or a recipe to make it, so we can increase our armor as well. And having said that, we are also on the verge of making something else that is totally incredible. And that is our next tool. Our next tool will be the fishing rod net. We'll be able to make that. Uh, the bone rod is still elusive. We can make the bone, we can probably find a jewel. It's just the holy arbor branch that we do not have access to at the moment. So let's make that fishing rod net cause we can. So, using delicious bait, let's see where we need to be. It's just here, so it's actually pretty easy. And since this is not something that is being determined by the quality from the item, I'm just using my low level stuff in order to make it. I just had to make two bug nets in order to get there. Why, why, why can't I not use my other bug net? Oh, no, I know, I know what it is, I know what it is, I know what it is. Because I was, of course, uh, busy on the outside, so I equipped one. So I'm pretty sure I cannot use it in a recipe if I'm still holding it in my hands. I'm basically stirring with my bug net in the pot in order to make it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So let's do it again. I should be able to make because we do not need a bug net if we combine the two in one single layer tool. I don't know how it's gonna look like. It's gonna be interesting. Yes, make it. Uh, he has to make it expensive. I don't think there's any uh, thing that will add to the tool itself. If there is, oh, please let me know, because I always love learning more about the game that I'm playing. And another alchemy level, added items increased by one, and this is what I was waiting for. And the reason why, if all of you can still remember from way, way back when, uh, we still have that composite plate that we need to make for Pet, one of our side quests. Let's see, can we, because the reason we couldn't make it is because we had one slot too little in order to get to that spot. So let's see if we can make it now. And uh, this is was one. I'm going for quality, I'm going for effectiveness. Because this one, the fruit part, was the one that was breaking our heads in. Because we don't have anything more than uh, this palma fruit in order to get the fire in there, and therefore we need to use two. And therefore, came okay, one short in order to put it in the recipe. Uh, let's see, we need three fire. Uh, do we just need one to open it and three fire in the actual thing? Uh, let's just use the normal. Place. Yeah, this is just normal. And here we need to use our free fire in, which we can. 
And there it is, guys. We can make it beautiful. Because the pet psych was a little bit like a pet project, literally. Because <laughs> he needed it in order to remake his old die shop. And I'm hoping that if we open that shop with him through a side quest, we might get new recipes for better equipment. Now, you didn't think I was doing it out of my kindness of my heart. Come on, you guys. Start knowing me. I'm not that uh, kind of hero. Okay, let's see. Uh, the composite plate. Is it here somewhere? So I want to see if we can build upon that to do something else. Just out of sheer curiosity. Yeah, composite plate. Holy no. Th th that's a different kind of armor. Uh, uh, wood, yes. Alright, so we got a lot of new stuff. Fishing rod and a composite plate. So let's equip that new gathering tool. Beautiful. The only thing we are missing now is a bomb we can place on this one. And there it is, the golden fishnet. Alright, so we're done with synthesizing. So what I want to do is I want to go to Pet first to deliver the side quest. And after that I want to continue on by delivering the other materials to the other side quest we made because when I was out there gathering materials I found the lake near the dragons where I found an infinite pool of rosewater, water and therefore also enough of high quality for the teacher and of course for Gina so let's uh, finish up those three side quests and afterwards we can deliver what we want to do deliver the bait Oh, I might as well lose this button. Oh, and of course, there was something else that came up. The exploration record for the volcano was done. Yeah, like I said, I've been busy. <laughs> so, too hot. This is a natural occurring hot spring, but I think it's a bit too hot to go swimming in. Uh, the volcano here is much different from the ones I've read about back home. Especially the way the flames appear here and there. Right. And then back, back to Kirken. This one is still alluding to us because we can't find a sapling anywhere. At least not yet. Uh, we have Genius interview. Let's do that. We gotta make sure we do not use. Whoa. Have we ever seen it rain in the Bowden district? This is beautiful. I, I always like natural phenomenon in uh, games because it gives another atmosphere, another perspective into the entire game. So yes, I'm actually quite loving this. Is this also a fishing spot? Yes. And I know I shouldn't be fishing here because in town we only get low level stuff because this is the easiest place you can get to. And that never gives us a uh, the most prime A examples of stuff. Alright, and uh, let's no, no, we're going for the lower stuff. I got what you asked for. Oh, thank you. So, how's your writing coming along? Oh, pretty good. Your adventures were just what I needed for inspiration. I'd love to leave the island someday and see those kinds of things for myself. <laughs> well, maybe you get to when you're older. I can't wait. Anyway, thank you so much for doing this for me. I should get going now. Ah, uh, she must be writing some kind of adventure story. I hope she'll let me read it when she's done. Yeah, and we should get out of this uh, rain cause it's kind of wet. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back to our teacher in old time. And of course in old town there's also a location where we can find Pet and we can finally deliver his composite plate for his die shop. And I actually want to do that first. 
But yeah, I know the pe this teacher is very beautiful to watch and we need to please her in order to get some extra credit. But come on. If we can make his die shop, that would be perfect. Pat, Rolf, hello, hello. Oh, hey there, Reza. So, how's it going fixing up the die house? Actually, we were just about to come see you. Huh? Me? Yep, you. Could you bring us some sturdy lumber? You can just use any regular wood. Sturdy lumber. I think I can swing that. Are you sure you don't mind? Oh, not at all. Humping as much as you need. Just leave it to me. I knew we could count on you. Rise is about the best call to give though for. <laughs> Happy to hear that. I guess I'll be relying on you again. It'll be my pleasure. Alright. Pat, I got your lumber. <laughs> well, here we go. Wow, I've never seen wood of this quality before. I made it especially for you, so it should be plenty of sturdy. Wow, you really know your stuff. This is gonna be a huge help. So, where's Rolf? Oh, he's doing some uh, other repairs right now and ran out of here. Well, said it was too dangerous for the elderly. <laughs> well, I hope everything keeps going smoothly. Me too. So, uh, thanks again. Yeah, and if I did Pet's voice a little bit differently, it's because it was a long time ago. I think about 10 episodes, if not more. But yeah, I'm happy to say that uh, we are surely getting there now. So. Let's get over to the teacher's house and see if we can deliver her rose water as well. <clears throat> Let's give her the best one we have. I think it's 62. Cynthia, I got everything you asked for. Ah, thanks a lot, Ariza. I really do appreciate it. So, how are you gonna use all this stuff? It's not like you can just glue them into a textbook. Well, I'm going to get kids to sketch them. I'll make the things they don't write in the classroom as teaching aids. Along with the things that Tao got for me, I've got plenty to keep me busy for a good long while. Thanks again for your help, but... I might not be done with you just yet, okay? <laughs> sure, no problem. Another completed quest. I wonder how much of the these type of quests there are in the entire game. Because I think we are pretty decently far in the game already. And it looks like that uh, Claudia is having 40 as a marker for her. Uh, personal quest, but it doesn't mean it has to end there. It can be a lot more. And I say, go for it. Give it to me. Because I love doing these. Are you still raining? Uh, did we have any more? Let's check it out if there are any more quests we can do right now. Okay, no new ones. Nothing we can add to the mix. So let's get over to Kirkham Port. And deliver the bait to our fellow fishermen. Mm, I do wonder if that war powder we need to make for the girl at the port. If we can not only already make it, because it's been a very long time since we get that quest. But on the other hand, we got that quest around the same time as Petsis and 
we haven't been able to make that one until right now because our alchemy level wasn't high enough so yeah I really need to look into it to see if I can figure out how we can make that powder for her hmm super powerful fish bait Ooh. Almost forgot this was a main story one, and those are always voiced over. I'll shut up now. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so they did say they were going to use it in the morning. So the most logical thought I would have on progressing this is going back to the atelier and sleep for a day. That would be too strange. <laughs> and there's a good... Uh, chance that we might get in trouble cause I'm not fully convinced this is gonna help them. They might attract more monsters than actual fish. Ah, there it is. Parents worries. Die house preparation time 2. Islands textbook. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing we did last night. We're gonna go first for the side quest then for the main one. And the main reason is that I want to do this is because at the end of the game I want to have all story quests uh, done and I don't know if there's gonna be like an event in the main story that might make it impossible to get certain side quests so as soon as we get them I want to pick them up and I want to do them hopefully you all agree with that tactic so is her father gonna have some comments right now that I've been helping her write her own story I do hope not Something like that needs to be stimulated, because she's doing really, really well on her own. So where is he? Oh, let's look at him. Ah, same place where Gina was standing. Oh, it is Gina. Oh, Gina, what's wrong? You look upset. Oh, Riza, you won't believe it. My dad took my story and read it by my back. It's not even finished yet. Oh no. As soon as he got home, he started calling me, asking if I'd leave the island. Oh, but you used our stories as a reference, right? Oh, it's just the worst, don't you agree? Uh, well... Gina! What? Oh, I'm, I'm so really sorry. I read your story without asking. I, I just happened to stumble across it and... But, but I have to ask again. You, you promised me you didn't leave the island. How many times do I need to tell you? It's just some story I made up. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then that's good. You have to understand. The mainland is really dangerous. Oh, I, I told you what happened. Isn't that enough? Oh, just leave me alone. Oh, come on. Don't be mad, you know. Your story is really well written. I can't wait to see how it ends. <laughs> As if I'm ever gonna let you read it. I didn't write it for you. <laughs> if you're not gonna leave, then I will. Reza, I'll talk to you later. Ark, Gina, come on. Don't be like that. <laughs> Oh, it must have really embarrassed her. No, no, no. I'm sure it's not that bad. Even though it's not done yet, I'm really impressed with her structure and style. I wonder if I could put that to use somehow. <laughs> if Jeannie were to say that, she might not ever talk to you again. <gasps> You're right! Oh, I gotta watch out for that. Anyway, I need to get going. Those two seem to have a very strange relationship. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I'm beginning to like this one. This uh, part of the story, just the interaction between father and daughter. Uh, the daughter, clearly a better writer than the father. Uh, I want to see where it goes. Alright, next one. Okay, this time let's uh, give our teacher the upper hand. Hey Cynthia, how's your textbook coming along? Oh, hey Reza, it's going well. Right now I'm writing about the island's geography and special customs. And this is one for the younger students, which means drawing more than swords, uh, I mean words. So it's gonna take longer than expected. This one? You, you mean you're planning to make more than one? Well, for now I'm just focused on younger kids since the island has lots of those. Cynthia! Oh, hey Reza, what are you doing here? I could ask the same thing. Well, I'm helping Cynthia put together a comprehensive history of the island. <laughs> and you have my thanks, Thou. Do you mind if I take a look at what you've written so far? <laughs> it sounds like you're pretty motivated, Thou. <laughs> of course! It's not every day you get to help to write a book like this. Uh, if you have the time, Reza, why don't you help him out? Oh, sorry, but I think I'm gonna be pretty busy today. Really? Well, I might need your help later, so I hope you'll study your alchemy until then. Oh, of course. Oh, now then, uh, Tao, come over here, will you? Uh, okay, Miss Cynthia. Hmm, it looks like they're making lots of progress in the book. I can't wait to read it when it's done. Yeah, I think uh, Ryza is taking a step back just to let uh, Tao have his way with Cynthia. Because it looks like he was helping her more than beneficial advantages. Alright. So let's see, uh, Pat. Uh, maybe when we're progressing the story a little bit more, we can actually help them with their book. Which I do hope so. Because it does sound like it's going to be a very great book. Hey there, Reza. Hey, Pat. Sounds like you're in an awfully good mood. Does it? Well, I guess things have been looking up a little more lately. Oh, Reza. I'm glad you're here. Why? Do you need something? As a matter of fact, we need some tools to improve the equipment. Improve it? Yeah, yeah. Most is functional right now, but I thought it'd be good to make some additions to help it last longer. I told him it was unnecessary, but... <laughs> no, don't worry. I understand. I'll get on it right away. Oh, thanks a bunch. You're the best. Hmm. Seeing them now, they're starting to act more and more like father and son. Uh, three ingots over six. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something we have because we've been making weapons. So I've been using a lot of metal. So yeah, let's uh, straight deliver it to the home. Bad. I got what you guys asked for. Oh, thank you so much. This is wonderful. Do, do you need anything else? Nope. We're pretty much finished with all repairs, so this should be it. All that's left now is to train Wolf. I'm really glad you're taking him as an apprentice. I guess your die house is gonna live again, after all. <laughs> Seems that way. I hope it lives up to your expectations. It will. Okay, so a little bit of luck right here. There's an entire house coming, or they're gonna rebuild this house as the die house. 
Oh, I'm so curious. I really want to know what it's going to be like. Alright. Did we have anything else? No. So it's time for us to go back to port. And finish up this chapter of the day with... The bait. ライザ君。ダメだな。小魚一匹かからない。一体どうなってやがんだ。本当にもらった薪は前のより強力なのか。そのはずなんだけど。それでもダメってことは潮目がどうこうじゃなく本当に魚が減ってる。ぶつぶ
供にできないことがよくできますことさすが大人は違いますねいい加減機嫌を直せ<笑>アメリカのキャリーカモン分かっててからかってるでしょ<笑>まあいいわとにかくトレッペの高台に行こう All right, so we got a new goal all set and ready. Ooh, fresh store and cook on pork market have new items. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so before we head to uh, the Brunel estate in the next episode, we're gonna go past the market and see what kind of new items they have because maybe some new equipment. And we haven't been spending money on a lot of things, so we should have enough to buy it. And on the other hand, we still have the party quest to sell a thousand items. So we can sell a lot of stuff if we wanted to. So, but for now, I think we're gonna leave it right here. Next time, we're gonna continue on with the main story for a little bit, check out the stores, and see what's going on with our side quest. Because I want to see that die house. I want to see if it's a building they refitted, or he's gonna build an entire new shop in our in old time. And who knows, maybe we'll attract a lot more people to come back living there. Because they were actually going all out of there to the Bowden district, which is more populated now with shops and everything than Old Town. Because Old Town was the old city center and no longer the new one. But that's gonna be on the next episode. I hope to see you all there. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye bye.